Oh, my booty is hurting because I've been sitting here for so long. But you didn't need to know that, but now you do. G'day guys, it's Jarrah here and welcome to The Lion Song. So I saw this and it just looked really interesting, so let's start with episode 1. Silence. And I've been silent for so long. Um, so I chose this game because the art style just looked really interesting and I wanted to try something different. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks, it's very cold there. Mama, you have to- you pat the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard, all aboard for Vienna! Isn't Vienna like... You will write to your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar. But I love you anyway. All aboard, last call for Vienna! Mama, let the boy go. He will get in trouble if he's late. My dearest boy, take care. Where are you sending me? Oh, there I am. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama, Papa. You take care too. Take care. Wilma first left them on this ferry train. Now me. I'm a handsome looking boy. With an itchy ear. Vienna. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am. Waiting. Maybe at last you want to talk about us? Well, you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, William. You keep hoping it will happen, but it never will. Who am I? I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Why would you want to see me, Professor? Where have you been? Why did you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest... Yes? Wilma? Your performance at the salon? It was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Oh, yeah, they s I'm so glad. They want to hear more of you, Wilma. We need to keep you- keep up the momentum. How is the new composing coming along? I'm progressing. Your music is so new. It's enticing. It's challenging. I think... No, I know that we are going to achieve something great here. The future of music. Arthur, I'm... We must build on success of your performance. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I'm... that is... what is it? I've started composing it, but... But? Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for! I can't hear to let you down. I can't... I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute, everyone clamoring for your attention, recognizing you on the street, and even more pressing on me. Vienna is a city, we can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself, it's momentum. Vienna is a city, we can't change that. You need a change, that's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. You'll be able to work there. No, you've done too much for me. Would you come with me? I can't accept that. No, you've done too much for me already. Nonsense. You're teaching, guiding me, your help with the scholarship. You need time alone, the quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of things here. Arthur, can't I? I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There's plenty of supplies in the cabin. I have no idea about this game, by the way. Like I have no idea what's going on. Pack lightly. You're not, you're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing the old violin relaxes me. You have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is the best. You will be completely alone, no distractions. 
Somewhere in the Alps. Oh, pretty. Forest, mountains, cabin, telephone. Almost there. Just a little bit further. Just a few more steps. Phew! Here I am. I finally arrived. That's it, Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. An inspiration is waiting for me down there. The path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. That must be the cabin at last. Hopefully, inspiration waits for me down there. Dark clouds hang over the mountain. Almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. I better hurry. Oh, I already said that. A spectacular view. Telephone poles. The only connection from this place to the outside world. The forest up here is so dense. The trees are thick with needles you almost can't see through. Okay. What, 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 what? Looks like a storm is raining. I might just make it before the rain. Bye. The Lion's Song, Episode 1. Silencio per favore. Or silence. I made it just before the rain. Hopefully it will stop soon. The walk up here was exhausting. Phew! Alright, Wilma. It's time to unpack your bag. My, my old violin. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. My materials are still in my luggage. I'm exhausted. There should be something to eat in my bag. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music paper. Ah, here it is. Oh, a letter. Who's it from? It says, open upon arrival. My dear Wilma, I hope you have a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you will have started writing already, inspired by the beautiful surroundings. Read on. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us? Before your departure, I started to organize a concert in Vienna. I was able to convince a few illustrious co colleagues to offer their works. I have to call in many favors, but Mr. Colin, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mao have all agreed to participate. It will be a glorious evening, and your composing will be the centerpiece, the grand finale. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt, and for that I apologize, but now is your time. The music, the musicians start rehearsing next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. A, a concert? One week? How, how is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped in here with a storm outside. And with me, silence. My old violin, despite its bad appearance, beautiful tone. Hello. Je t'emmène tout. Excuse me? Oh, German? Yes. Who is this? Whom do you wish to speak? Are you sure? Who is this? I, um, well, my name is Leos. Are you still there? Y yes. Yes? Amazing, I wonder if. Are you close by? Where are you? I'm in the Alps. The mountains? Yes, the mountains. Ha! <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this. I told you. I was told you can speak over long distances. But to actually hear a voice, it is amazing. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. Mm, what was that? What was what? That noise just now. I didn't hear anything. I heard this noise. I hear this noise every day when my guests come to visit me with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot. Mm, with a rich, hearty sauce. Yes. Mm. 
When you cast in one and then steam comes out. Sounds delicious. They are delicious. You have to come by one day so I can cook some for you. I wish I had some right here now. <laughs> of course you wish that. <laughs> I apologize. It sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madame. Uh, huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. My name? Will you tell me your name? Wilma. It was a pleasure to speak with you, Wilma. Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? They gave me a number, 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Thank you for your call. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. Sandwich. Mm. I might, it might not be a dummy, but it tastes delicious. I'm so tired. It was just too much my first day. Oh, honey. Outside, behind the building, the sun is rising. Beside Wilma, someone stirs. Arthur? Hmm. Wilma? Hey, are you awake? Maybe. Oh, you. It's late. How did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Stay a little longer with me. I really have to go. I'm expected at the Institute. But it's your Institute. Yes. And you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. Is that what we are? Together? Distant church bells chime the hour. Six, six o'clock. I'm already late. Who are you meeting? Today I'm getting Scarmer's contribution. I have to be there. It would be marvellous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the look on their faces when your song is played. What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in year. Stop, you're hurting me. The future of music. No, ow. Arthur, stop. Day two. It was just a dream. Just a dream. Arthur, I was finally with you, but... I won't know. I have to write this composure. I had to start. Come on, Wilma. Concentrate. You've done this before. Anything could be an inspiration. The lamp casts a dim light. The flames dance quietly to and fro. And flares up briefly. How long will this storm continue? In this letter, someone described my last performance. In Wilma's mind, the words form an image. People hold their breath, their eyes sparkle with excitement. They move away and they move closer. She heard their footsteps and the clinking glasses in her hands since everything comes together. A harmonious and light form of manner, giving it strength. How can I... Yes, like this! What was that? I can't hear melodies in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming. A blow curling squeal. Relentless creaking. I can only create melodies if I had silence. Perhaps I can silence the noise. Lock them out? I have to try. The wind rattling the cabin. Beans creaking. The fibers of the wood bending and snapping. The noise blurring. It fades away. The lamp, the wind shaking the cabin, making it sway. The squeaking noise is getting under her skin. It's back again. Always audible, even when it wasn't. I can block it out. I know I can. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is gone. For a split second, a melody can be heard, but it vanishes instantly. Damn it. It is vaguely the storm raging with all the howling wind and powling rain. How can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block up the noise from the storm. How? The 
storm booms overhead. The rain and wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out there. Strange. Why does Arthur have flowers here? The mountains loom high above me. Yeah, is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even further away. The path I came here by, it leads to a mountain pass. You can't tell from here where the telephone lines go. Thick forest. It's one I didn't get lost. This game is weird. Each drop of water falls from fire by forming quietly and droplet whooshing down, falling at the earth. Thundering on leaves, grass, stone from there to my ears, the sound blurs and fades away. And suddenly it is quieter. Key flowers, why did he leave them out here on the porch? The path I came here leads to mountain paths. Something shimmers between the trees. You have to look very closely to see it, but you can tell that it is there. A melody hidden between the layers of music. Okay. The mountains loom high. Dumb flowers. Rain. Clouds still roll in the sky. It doesn't look as though the storm will be over anytime soon. Go inside. Finally, I can start writing. Um, answer the call. Hello? Wilma. It's me, Laos. You remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Why are you calling? I, well, to be honest, I wanted to hear your voice again. The last time we talked about me, my niece, and about my dumplings. But I never asked about you. That was rude of me. You wanted to hear about my voice? Why? Yes, it feels good to hear your voice. It reminds me of, of someone. Your niece? Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. They travel much of the year, but they do not believe she is strong enough to join them. Well, I tried to look after her, but... Where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't manage. I mean, I loved her. We are... We were very close. But running the air and taking care of her, I couldn't do both at the same time. So I sent her back to her parents in Vienna. I think things are better this way. Who looks after Nicole where her parents travel when she lives in Vienna? Is it, is it better for her? I'm not sure. I like to think so, yes. Do you miss Nicola? Yes. She's like a daughter to me. Who looks after Nicola where her parents travel? A governess, I think. A certain friend smaller? I don't know her. Why don't you call Nicola? I wanted to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. You should do it. You think so? If you don't, you might regret it. Uh, every hour, minute, second that passes keeps you feeling from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can make it up to her somehow. But enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What is your profession? My family? Um... My parents are loving and kind. They've always supported me, especially my father. He introduced me to music. Oh, you are a musician? I have a younger brother, brother Otto, who always thinks he has something to prove. Always in search of a new adventure. Always a little bit annoying, little brothers. <laughs> Well, I'm unmarried. I lived my whole life with my parents until I went to study in Vienna. I haven't given a moment's thought to marrying or starting my own family. Music is my life, it consumes me. Unusual for a woman my age, don't you think? Hmm. Unusual for women of any age? For a moment she hears a melody. Wait, what was that? What? I thought I heard something. You heard something just now? I did! What did you hear? Inspiration? I don't understand. Can you do that again? Do what again? Q. 
keep talking. Fine, I'm, I'm just talking to you, Wilma. I was trying to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me, about my family, my profession. Yes, you are a musician. What was that? What? The melody, I can hear a medley. Well, quick, write it down. Goodbye. Right. The notes disappear. Oh no, I nearly had it. You need to give the melody some time. It is quiet. And suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. Thank you, Laos. I can barely keep my eyes open. That girl's gonna have so much back issues. So many back problems. It's cold. And wet. Huh. Where am I? You're in a well, honey. Drowning. Rain? A well? Why? Why can't I move? Oof. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. Water? The water's rising fast. I can't move. I can't get out that way. The stones are slippery and wet. The rain. The water is rising. My feet. The mud gripping them like death hands. I'm going to get out of here. Hello? Is someone down there? Hello? Is anyone down there? Yes, down here. The rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Get me out of here. Can you climb up? No, my feet are stuck in the mud. How did you get down there? I can't remember. Don't panic. Hmm. It's a difficult problem. The water's rising. Please do something. Stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait here, Wilma. I'll try and get help. Don't go. I can't hear you. I will try to find help. Leos! Ooh. She found a new muse and it's Leos. The storm has gotten worse. Day three. Just a dream. This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the tip of my brain. Wilma, concentrate. Hmm. Another noise. What was that? Oh no, something else. Where is that stupid clock? The noise is coming from in there. I must find a way to get in. Where could he have hidden the key? Hmm, maybe I should take a look at the flower pot outside. I love how you just assume. Hmm. Why does Arthur leave flowers on the porch? Oh, here's a key! Uh. Give me a word document cause I wanna try something Three, two, one. All right, let's go back inside then. And then let's open this and turn that bloody pocket watch off. I got it. The tick of the old watch shatters in her imagination. The fragments dissolving, gradually fading into silence. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainer Marie Micah. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more. 
To him, they seen a thousand bars, and behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage, the sound of absolute pianos behind it, silence. Write that melody down. Come on. One letter. Arthur must have a reason to lock this letter away. Read it, my beloved Arthur. I can hardly wait to see you again. The memory of your last visit still hangs in the air. Like a note that, after the orchestra has already finished, lingers on. It fills me with dreams, feelings, and longings for you. Sometimes when I get away from Vienna, I'm going to travel with you across Europe and farther. Further. With every year... Every year one sense was fine in the city. What was worthwhile and grand now ebbing away. The voices all sounded the same. Just echoes from better times long past. Vienna is losing itself. But the city, its people, they don't care. They see to it. They keep going. Instead of doing something about it. I don't want to stand by it. I hear Berlin is the future. Full of beauty and hope. Let's go there sometime. What do you think? Please tell me soon. Yours, Greta. Another one? Arthur. Honey. Arthur writes about his phenomenal, he calls, tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between their notes, the same notes can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur's taking her to a direction his writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She rises him lecturing to his students. He pauses, not once, but many times. He turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on um, surprise every time he's attending. Arthur pauses and never exactly when you expect them. You can feel each one coming. You don't know when, but you know it will come. He delays it, stretches it out until finally, when I'm always given up waiting, he pauses, turns and smiles. I'm writing thou melody. I'm being locked in the cabin. Wilma tries to incorporate these pauses in the piece. No bag. I don't need anything for my bag now. Drawers. The drawers is locked. Dusty. But empty. Play. Uh, examine closely. My violin. The little scratches, nicks, and cracks I got from my father back then. And Otto always tried to steal it. I hope Otto, Mama, and Papa are doing well. Play a melody. A melody, of course. I will just play. The music repeats itself. Motifs, melodies, and rhythms, which Wilma has played many times before. Never really surprising. Almost boring. The tones seem to be lingering long after. Mind of all the other times she's played. Never written harmonies. Maybe their time is now. Hmm... Wilma writes the harmony down. I can barely keep my eyes open. Maybe I should sleep. But I don't have enough time. Try to stay awake. No. I don't have enough time. I must try to stay awake. Her eyelids become heavier and heavier. In the haze of fatigue, the notes in her music become a blur. And quietly new ones emerge. Poor thing. Ask me that. You really don't know, do you? What, what? What do you mean? Have you ever thought about what you want? I want to go home to my parents. I want to be with Arthur. I want to be successful. I think successful. I want to be successful. Ah, uh -huh. that's more like it. At last, we talked about what you want. I believe you can be successful, but what are you going to do to achieve that success? I don't know, but I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Well, you have better get back to work then. Vienna deserves to hear your music. Day four. The storm. It's here. Oh no, 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 no. 
Oh, these voices in my head. Myself. All these noises in my head, I cannot let my fear control me. Maybe I can block them out, I have to try. But maybe I'm appear to hear the music thing. Better let them say, no, it's true, so I have to find another way to calm down. Um, telephone. Be there, please be there. Leos, what was the number he told me? Please be there, please, please be there. Hello? I think I was Leos, you're there. Mama, is that you? Oh my god, I'm so glad you're here. Calm down, calm down, what is it? It's all too much. What was that? Thunder. Real thunder this time, not my stomach. The storm is here. I'm so afraid. Thunder? Ah. Don't worry, it'll be alright. Just focus on my voice. Yes, your voice. Can you hear me? Yes, you're definitely not whispering. You're right, I'm yelling. What does my voice sound like? Um. Stressed. Yes, I guess you're right. But still, I'm here. You were not the whisper at the top of the well. Who? I had a dream I was drowning in a well. Someone came, but then they ran away. Not me. I would have helped you. I know. And it wasn't my father either. He would have abandoned me. And Arthur was... Never mind. Oh god, it was... Who was it? Myself. Me. I was running away from myself. I was running away from my composure. It was an important dream. What is it the doctor's... What's the doctor's name? Vienna. Fra? Exactly. He would approve of your interpretation, I think. Yes. Yes? Do you remember how you talked me into calming, calling Nicole? What did you do? I called her. I did it. What did she say? She was overjoyed. She said I could visit her as soon as possible. Can you believe it? I'm glad. I simply had to call her. The silence that followed our last call, as soon as her voice was gone. I was reminded of how lonely I really am. Are you still feeling lonely? No, not anymore. Not when I'm talking to you. I'm glad I can talk to you. It's a great invention, the telephone. <laughs> Are you still there? Yes, yeah, still here. What are you doing? I'm just writing music. What, about the storm? Still here too. It no longer disturbs you? No. Wonderful. I can finish the song now. It's a song of courage, of being yourself and facing the shadows. May I hear it? Um... I'll play it for you on my violin. Wonderful. No, I'm not done, but soon. Until soon, then farewell, Wilma. Farewell, my friend. The composure is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. The flame flares up to time to time, struggling for air. A flickering flaring rhythm to compose. Yes, that's good. Sketches. Several fields are drawn in a chaotic style. Many faces of the same person. Creepy. Melody forms of multiple fa facets. I wish I could read. This was the last sheet of music paper, but there's still something left to write. The finale. There has to be a space for a few more notes. No. Where will I get something to write on? Goodbye. Uh, unfinished composition. Hmm, the back of Arthur's composition is clean. And your paper. I'm sorry, Arthur. Just looking at her music lifts her mood. This is the best work so far. Melodies flow through her mind while the rain falls on the cabin. Now a dedication. 
pull my brother out though. Without whom my music would not exist. So this is the lion song. Hmm. Yeah, no great wall. The auditorium is Pat. The commercials by Scottberg, Mallor, and the others have already played. The mood is tense, expectantly. Seems as the whole city of Vienna is here. But now is not the time to be nervous. The Lion Song. The sounds and melodies free themselves from the instruments. Whirling in a flaming dance by the audience. It's beautiful. Expanding with wide distance perspectives. Forming pictures of familiar faces and places. Quiet to calm, bright sparks. And seems far away of all of a sudden muffled as it heard the falling snow. Then burning with a desire to break free. Cleaved into facets and clean and sharp edged. Now it's peaceful like a warm voice from far away. Fading to a sense of hope, a hope for someday. She even like a love song. Ah, beautiful, the beautiful. Such a lovely melody. Ah. And the curtains fall, Wilma leaves the stage and disappears behind the countless musicians. Finn. Finished. In the next episode of The Lion Song. Viennese art scene. Ooh, now he plays an artist next. Oh, it plays Otto. He's a young artist with a unique gift. I see people differently. The Lion Song, episode two. Anthology, 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 anthology. anthology. Oh, so I can. Oh, these are all the different people who made the game. Except, so. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Technical director, creative director, and writing, development, administration, organization support, sound effects. Okay, right of applause to sound effects and music, which is Dynam Dion. 10 out of, like 100 out of 10, it was beautiful. Additional game design and writing. Art, beautiful art as well. Alright, I'm sorry. I like this, it's cool. Comfy, Russian localizer, equal support. 
This is cool. Additional support. It has like all the different people who have helped. That's cool. Marketing and PR. Thanks to Katie, Michelle, Monty, Valerie, Annie, our friends and families, and Paul Guns. Oh, this is so cool. Chris Willey, Joseph Willey, Mary Moss, Luke Smith, all these people. Thank you for making this game. It's really cool. Hi, started again by accident. Sorry. Yes, exit episode. Silence. Ninety-two percent also re reveal William's name to Laos. Eighty-seven percent advise Laos to call Nicole as well. Eighty-one percent try pushing through sleep as well. Twenty-three percent they want to be successful as well. Yeah, that one I knew would be different. And eighty percent also called Laos at last time. By deciding again, your choices change in the past and discover new connection achievements. Your game progress will be unaffected. Oh. interesting so now I can do the next three so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the lion song silence if you liked it let me know in the comments below and tell me should I do the next episode because that will turn into a four part series anyway see you guys in the next video sorry guys I'm out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya